wrote five one-act plays that are all connected to each other through the same themes, choices and women. Can you tell us about your experience writing these plays? Well, I hadn't written a new play in a while, and uh, I discovered that uh, my impulse was to write shorter sort of snapshots mm -hmm. uh, that could be connected in a collage-like way as an evening, maybe joined together with some music, uh, and that I wanted to I wanted to describe sort of various dilemmas that I perceived women to be experiencing in the culture, and also some things that I found delightful about women in the culture. Okay, um, following this theme, choices, the director has created a story linking these five plays. At the end of the play, we realize that the whole play is a dream. What do you think about this idea? Uh, you, you know, I mean, one of the great things about European theater is the director adds an additional level that uh, they do not, pretty much in America, uh, and uh, where they come up with a concept that's over and above uh, the individual pieces or, or the play that, you, that uh, you've conceived. And when this works, it's a fabulous thing. When it doesn't, it feels imposed. Mm -hmm. uh, in this case, I have a feeling it might work. Uh, and so much of your comedy seems to stem from ordinary people responding in ridiculous but truthful ways to circumstances of the drama. Uh, for example, Ron in Moonstruck, I lost my girl, I lost my hand, and or Anthony in Outside Mulligan, I believe I'm a bee. Uh, can you comment on that? I guess I think that uh, there are no other kinds of people except ordinary people, uh, and that ordinary people are, are in fact not ordinary at all if you actually stop and listen to them and look at what they're doing. Uh, everybody's quite eccentric in particular, and they were born that way, and society uh, does its best to flatten out those differences, but they fail, society fails. And so the individual quirks, which basically is the individual soul, uh, shines through, and that's certainly what I'm after. Okay, perfect. Um, frequently, love seems to be redemptive power in your stories. Danny and the deep blue sea, Joey versus the volcano, but he also comes with a price. Uh, does that tarnish love or enhance it? Well, I think that love is an acceptance of things as they are joined together with a, an affection for things, an embrace of things as they are. Uh, and uh, that first you have to understand what it is that you are about to embrace, and then you have to embrace it. I've always been much more interested in how things are as opposed to how things should be. So when people start to rail uh, to me about how uh, there's so much wrong with the world and how it should be this way and that way, I think, who are you that you know so much? I don't know that much. I feel like any uh, alteration I made to, to reality would probably make it worse. And that uh, what is interesting is to notice what's actually going on and come to enjoy it. Good. Um, all the characters in this one act place are at the edge or of a major life decision or realization. Yet, the one act format never allows the decision or realization to play out. Is the question left unanswered part of your message here? Or are you telling us to keep our eyes open to possibilities? Well, I think I'm describing um, uh, questions and dilemmas uh, and forks in the road that we all face and that we need to face. Uh, and uh, for me to simply prescribe how one should live, what choices one should make, would be less interesting than reminding you or pointing out to you the choices that uh, are before you to make uh, and uh, perhaps give some gentle guidance as a uh, uh, what you might do to figure out which way to go. Okay. Um, the Big Funk Company, named after one of your plays, has dedicated the first productions to your latest work. What do you feel about your play opening in Paris? I think it's kind of great. I, you know, I've had, uh, I did, uh, years ago, I did Danny in the Deep Blue Sea, uh, first at the Avignon Theatre Festival and then in Paris. 
uh, and we also did uh, Four Dogs in a Bone at the Avignon Theatre Festival. Uh, and then uh, uh, some folks did a play of mine called Women of Manhattan in Paris that I was fortunate enough to get a very nice review from Le Monde, uh, which surprised me. Uh, and uh, in, to, to be coming uh, basically uh, to Paris with plays that I haven't done in New York yet. Uh, it's kind of exciting, and uh, it's a it's a nice and free in context to do something in Western Europe rather than in New York. Okay, thank you very much for the interview. <laughs>